Hello everyone and welcome back to another beautiful autumn day here in Moss Tree Village. I am Mayor Siri, the mushroom loving mayor, and we are going to be going mushroom hunting in just a moment today. Good morning, Caesar. How are you? Pierce Caesar has come to visit first. I stayed up late last night and now I'm sleep deprived, as in yawn. So, did you need something? Let's talk, Caesar. What you doing today? How do you put away your tools? I suppose the normal way is oh, and then he's gonna really Okay, thank you, Caesar. <laughs> all right, he's gonna tell me all about it. All right, thank you. Wow, the villagers have really been insistent on teaching me some of the basics lately. I wonder if they're feeling like I'm an inexperienced mayor. I probably need to get to work actually tidying things up and uh, doing more mayoral duties very soon. But today is the second day of mushroom season, you guys, and that means we are going to go a mushroom hunting. Also, we have some mail. I think it's gonna be from Tabby saying goodbye. <gasps> we have so much mail! And I'm so full on mail! Oh my goodness! Oh gosh, and I've got so many things inside of my bags right now. Okay, we've got a little bit of work we need to do, you guys. <laughs> Just before we can even go mushroom hunting. Oh, the torment, the torment. All right, well, uh, let's see. I know I want to sell the spooky dresser. And I know that I can put this away. Here's my mushroom dresser. Isn't it adorable? I love it. It is what we got from the uh, mushroom hunting we did yesterday. So I'm very happy about that. All right, so what to do with all of this stuff? We have so much stuff. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I'm definitely gonna have to do that yard cell we talked about yesterday. Why do I have so many pitfall seeds? We should probably get rid of those. And I just got a cupid bench as well. And here's my green headed pumpkins. You guys, I'm a little bit of a pack rat and we're gonna have to do something about that. I'll be honest. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and in here we'll start putting away my little mushrooms and we'll take out some of the things and like these flowers don't need to be in here. That that was just me being lazy. Uh, we have the paper lantern and we have the creepy stones now. Now the creepy stones, we probably, this creepy stone we probably want to keep because it is a uh, exclusive Halloween item. And then let's go ahead and we're going to sell the candy. The paper lantern, um, I kind of want to keep it, but we might need to sell it pretty soon. And let's see, what about the spooky clock? The spooky clock? Oh, that's the clock. Okay, I'm going to sell the spooky clock. And then everything else, I think, uh, let's see, skull, spino skull. I don't know if I want to keep some of these just yet. I think we're at a point where we still need the money and we can't really focus on making the dinosaur miniatures. So we won't focus on making dino miniatures by gathering up all the fossils for a whole set right now. Hello again, Caesar. Oh gosh, and I still have that mail I need to collect. All right, good to see you, Caesar. Hope you're having a wonderful day. Let's check if there's anything next to this special stump. Not today, not today, my friends. And we're gonna go ahead and wander up to retail. It is actually 10 a.m. today. So we're starting the day at 10 a.m. instead of eight, so that retail and the other stores will be open and I might have a chance to actually clear my pockets out. Uh, round mushrooms, no, you're not getting my round mushrooms from me. No, I knew we had another mushroom lover in town. Oh, and you guys look down on the map. You can see Tabby has actually moved out. I'm a little bit sad about that, but I'm also thinking maybe we can use that area to have like my own personal little garden where we can start working more on more hybrid plants and things like that. Hello, Reese. Good morning. I have so many things I need to put in here. It's mostly going to be fossils. All right, I would like to put something here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll put, how about the spino skull here? All right, and if we set it for like 9,000, whoops, nope, let's do 9,999 bells. Sometimes my villagers will actually buy it at that price. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's so cool, look at that spino skull. So if we leave these in here, oh, hey Genji, are you back to buy more fossils? Too many items. I can't make up my mind. Come on, Genji. You want another fossil. All right. I can't remember what this is a piece to. That's the Ankleo torso. So I'm just looking for the Ankleo tail. And then we can actually take all of these pieces over to... Um, we can take all these pieces over to Cyrus and he can make a miniature out of it. The T-Rex torso. Too bad we can't just give him like a whole bunch of random ones mixed together and see what happens. Wait, was that, a, was that Genji being excited about something? Are you buying today or maybe just selling? Those eyes. Don't tell me you're just here to look around. <laughs> I, yes, he wants another. He wants the second Ankleo skull. I'm intrigued by your Ankleo skull. The sell price though, be honest with me. Should I buy it? Of course you should. So now Genji has bought both of our Ankleo skulls. 
<laughs> All right, he must really be an adamant collector of those kinds of things. Genji, I love him because he's always saying otaku and now we have him saying olola. So it's like he's our special little collector of random things. Genji, I'm gonna go ahead and put down another piece. Thank you so much, Genji. We're gonna put down the other skull. There we go. And I'm gonna put it down for 9,900. Whoops, not that many. There we go, because I don't think they'd buy it for 99,000. That'd be way too much. All right, there we go. And we can use those bells to improve the town. So thank you, Genji. That's a big help. And now I'm gonna go ahead and replace this. What, this is wrapping paper? Was I really selling wrapping paper? I'm taking it home and I'm going to put the last fossil here instead. So we're basically turning retail into a fossil shop. Oh, we should also sell some of the crystals that we find and we should sell some of the, uh, the like piles of the peaches to say that we're selling the peach jam. That would be really cool. There we go. So now we have a whole bunch of our fossils set for sale here in retail. So in case we do find the entire set, we can just go ahead and right away, like right away, take it to Cyrus and he can make us a little miniature dinosaur, which would be so cool. Ah, I feel like this is cool though. So I didn't ever think about it, but like theming what you sell in retail really does make it feel like you have your own little personal shop you're running in town. And if you just hang out and wait for customers like Genji to come in, then sometimes you can lure them into buying something. All right, I bought something pretty cool, Otaku. Maybe we bought everything that he had on him, <laughs> or all, we took all his bells. All right, let's go ahead and sell the other things kicking around inside of our inventory. Uh, we'll just go ahead and sell these flowers, why not? And uh, I'll save the wrapping paper. We could, we could wrap a gift for maybe Mary. Mary is new in town, and I don't think I've given her a gift just yet. There we go. So let's send Mary some candy, I guess. We'll send Mary some candy. What do you guys think? I think that sounds sweet. All right. And there you go. Thank you, Reese. All right, so I think that cleared up our inventory. <gasps> Huzzah! Now we can go through. We'll see what else we have kicking around in here really quickly. All right, and I might want to sell some of these things. Yeah, like the skeleton hood and the monster mask we can go ahead and sell. And then that's my umbrella. Is this the extra fishing rod? That's the extra fishing rod, so I can go ahead and sell that. And this is my watering can, so I want to keep that. Here's my silver fishing rod, so I might keep that out. All right, good. You guys, we did it! We did it! We actually have space to go mushroom hunting now. It's kind of hilarious how inventory management is a huge part of what we do here in, here in our wonderful, wonderful moss tree village. All right, let's see. Anything else? Maze wall? I kind of want to see what the maze wall looks like before we sell it, but we will sell it. And I want to keep the cupid bench and put it in the botanical garden because I think it would be perfect for it. All right, there we go. Thank you so much, Reese. All right, Genji, do you want to buy any more fossils? Nah, I think he spent all of his bells. <laughs> he's probably like, I'm tapped on bells. I have no more. I wonder how he earns his bells. Maybe he's like a Mega League gamer. That's my idea for Genji. He's from a really traditional Japanese family and that's why his house looks like it does, but he's truly a Mega League gamer. Also, is Mary home? Yay, Mary's home! Let's say hello to her. Even though she destroyed my apple tree, I need to welcome her into town. So I'll send her a, a little, oh, we won't let her know. All right, hello, Mary. Yay, you came to see my house, Siri. What do you want to talk about, me? Oh, she's so cute. What's the word moss tree, Siri? Come on, I'm dying to hear the latest gossip. <laughs> You're not talking. Oh, you must be keeping a sworn secret. Spill the beans, me. Oh gosh, she's so cute. All right, let's see if there's anything in particular. I really need to throw a tea party. What else am I going to do with this tea set? There won't be any yucky cucumber sandwiches at my tea party. Let them eat cake, I always say. <laughs> she's so cute. All right, let's see if she has anything else to say. I adore living alone. It seems like such a grown-up thing to do, but I was so nervous when I arrived in town. Silly me, right? I managed to make some friends. Awesome friends like Genji and you, Siri. So instead of feeling like I live all by myself, I'm actually living with all my best friends. Like, wow. Oh, that's so cute. So she must have moved away from like a big family on her own for the first time <sighs> on top of my apple tree. Mary, your house is an apple tree grave site. Oh, but that's okay, that's okay. And we need to change our town map or our town flag at some near near point too. So we'll have to work on that. But let's go ahead and really quickly. What, I can't draft a letter to Mary because my, my letters are full. Okay, we'll toss this, toss this. We're gonna have to toss this, gonna have to toss this. 
There we go. And so that'll give us, no, not from chips. I, I'm keeping the one from tips, chips forever. All right, write a letter. And I'm going to write a letter to Mary really quickly because this is my mayor duty of the day is to make sure our new villager feels welcome. And let's say, hello. And this is always torture. I wish I could just type it. Hello, Mary. Uh, da -dun -da -dun. And where, see, and then you have to like hunt for the symbols. Ah, torment, torment. Okay, let me get this done and then we'll come back. Yeah, all right, done writing her letter, which took a second. It's just very simple. Hello, Mary, I hope you're happy here in Moss Tree Village. Our village will grow so much, I hope you find joy. And then we'll go ahead and send that. I tried to make it a little bit longer and we'll put the little, oh, wait, we gotta wrap the candy first. So hang on, I'm gonna wrap something. Okay, gonna wrap the candy. And we'll send her a nice little wrapped candy gift as a way of welcoming her to Moss Tree Village. I think that's very well done of us. Very well done of us. Good job, Mayor Siri. Good job. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we'll go ahead and send that to her. We'll check back here, make sure there's no mushrooms back here. We also need to be keeping a sharp eye out. They better not be collecting up my mushrooms while I'm like chit chatting and do mayor duties. They better leave my mushrooms alone, the other villagers. This is all I ask for. I build them bridges. I build them cafes. I give them so much. I just want my mushrooms to be left alone. Let's collect our mail for the day. All right, lots of mail. So let's see what this is all about. Some of it's probably sad because Tabby left. Mm, post office. Dear Siri, thank you for using your postal savings account. This letter is to inform you that you have earned a total of one bell in interest. What? I have savings? <laughs> I didn't even know I had savings. The HHA. Oh my gosh. To our valued member, congratulations. Your home evaluation score has exceeded 10,000 points. We are sending you a gift to commemorate the occasion. What? Have you guys seen the interior of my house? It's a gigantic mess. What have they sent me? I have an HHAT. Oh my gosh, Tabby. Extra, extra to Siri. My moving day has finally come. I'm sure everyone will be a little lonely without their favorite star around, but it's okay. After all, I'll always be in your hearts. See you around from Tabby. Oh, bye Tabby. And then let's see, oh, from Genji. Hey Siri, thanks for coming over to my house to play. You said some nice stuff about my place and really cheered me up. I can't give you a medal for that, but I've got this for you instead. Sincerely, Genji. Oh, what do you get us? Let's go ahead and open it. And it is? A common bed, okay. Well, you know what? I don't have a bed, that's true. And a lot of you guys are upset that I don't have a bed. So that's probably a good thing. Caesar, how you doing buddy? What you doing over here? He is sitting on the special stump. This is somewhat adorable. He's just having a grand time. All right, well now that we have gotten, really Tabby? <laughs> I can't believe this. Tabby like had a, a, a pothole where her house used to be. I'm just, I feel, I feel a little shocked. I feel slightly, oh, tell me I didn't sell my, oh good, I have to sell my other fishing rod, but I didn't, I didn't sell the other one. Oh yeah, it's another, it's another skinny mushroom. I'm so happy. Okay, so Tabby had a pit hole where I thought it was gonna be a fossil. That's almost like she left it as a parting gift. I don't know whether that should be something I laugh about or whether that should be something I'm like, grr. But I'll, I'll laugh about it. All right, let's see. Is Blanche home? I'm out for a walk. If you need me for anything, please find me outside. All right, so Blanche is wandering around somewhere. And we have our first mushroom of the day, you guys. So that is one mushroom down, and that is four mushrooms to go, one of which is a mush piece. And I am very eager to find it. My little villagers are out and about. Oh, yeah, and I need to clean all of these things up because I was very naughty and just like threw things on the ground everywhere. Please tell me I have enough room. Ugh! It's amazing how quick you start running out of room. We should be able to manage things though. Oh, here's where a fossil is. So we'll dig this up. All right. And then we'll continue looking for day two of our mushroom festival. I really, uh, why not just call it a whole festival? Hello, little mantis, you're fine. Why not just consider it an entire festival, a day, a month, a whole season dedicated to the gathering of adorable little mushrooms from all throughout the village. They better not be picking them. <gasps> a little flat mushroom. Oh gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so normal flat mushroom. All right, we found a skinny mushroom. So now I really, really wanna find, and I wonder if I can use the mushrooms to decorate with outside my home. And if the villagers will try stealing them or not. Oh, hey, Aurora. You aren't digging at mushrooms, are you? Sunny mornings make me want to dance, baby. So what's on your mind? 
Would you let me come over to your house sometime, Siri? I've been studying new techniques for interior design, and I'd like to see how you've done it. Well, okay, I guess I did I did just get that like letter uh, a time after one. <laughs> okay, I'll try my best, Aurora. I will try my best. I did just get that letter. Hey now. Is he really mad about something? Kit Kat, what's wrong? Leave me alone. I'm in a bad mood right now. <gasps> Kit Kat! I've never seen a villager upset before. Can't you tell by looking at my face? If you want to talk to me, you'll have to wait until I'm not mad. Oh my gosh, did he just have a fight with Caesar? Or who? who's over here? I'm so mad I'm about to blow my stack. Everybody better watch out. <gasps> Big Top and Kit Kat just had a fight. Oh my gosh, they're so furious. I wonder what they fought about. Huh. Well, that happened. I didn't know that the villagers could fight. Okay, we've only found two mushrooms. I'm really, really worrying that that rumor of if you don't come like eight in the morning, the villagers will take your mushrooms. <gasps> Thank goodness. <gasps> we found it. Yes. I thought it was a mushroom, but it was a mush table. We've got the mush table. Oh, I'm so relieved. I was getting really worried for a second there. All right. And we're going to hunt down here. Hmm. There should be more mushrooms. We found five yesterday. And I'm worried that my villagers have stolen them. And I have pretty good mushroom eyes. I know where to look for them. Oh, it's such a fun thing to do to go every single day and go on this little hunt. Trying to search behind all the houses. Oh, there's a fossil. That's a good find. All right, do I have enough room? I do. I have just enough room for the fossil, actually. There we go, another fossil. And you know what? We haven't found the other fossil spot either, so I guess I do need to do a little bit more careful searching. All right, anything done? <gasps> the other mushroom! Yes, okay. I found another one of the mushrooms. Oh gosh, and we need to go up to Reese again <laughs> and sell what we've got in our packs. But this is good. We're making progress, and I am cleaning up the town since I left all of those masks and everything laying around. I guess you could say that's like the mess from our Halloween festivities that I just sort of like chucked everywhere. Genji! I wonder if he's thinking about buying another another fossil. When you decide something, you gotta act quick. Keep that in mind. That's <laughs> so funny. All right. All right. Good luck, Genji. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna be over here trying to sell things to Reese. More Halloween masks because they're cleaning up after Halloween. Mummy mask, mummy mask. Uh, this normal fishing rod can go. And then I'll keep the common bed. Genji actually gave me the common bed too. And I'll go ahead and sell that tea, and I'll sell the emerald for now, because we've got a lot of things. All right, let's see. Yep, that sounds like a deal. Thank you, Reese. All right, Genji, are you broke, or do you want to buy these things? Come on, Genji. You want it? Look at these awesome fossil pieces. Feel the collecting bug. Give me money. <laughs> the money does go towards good causes after all. We work really hard to take care of our village every day. I really love that. There's something great about knowing the work you do. It goes towards something good, like taking care of your little villagers. All right, let's go ahead and the skinny mushroom. Skinny mushroom, skinny mushroom. There you are. All right. So now we have one, two. We have two skinny mushrooms, one flat mushroom, and we need to find one more mushroom. And we have our mush table that we need to look at too. So I'm very happy about our mushroom haul so far today. Let's make sure there's no mushrooms kind of like hiding behind something back here. Nope. Kit Kat has calmed down. Kit Kat, are you doing okay? Hey -o! uh, what's up with you? This is the part where you'll hey -o back to me. Psst. What did you need? Well, how you doing, Kit Kat? Think about the way a butterfly moves. It seems to, like studying one could really benefit my training. Bell S, it doesn't matter what kind, just catch me a butterfly. All right, I'm on it, Kit Kat. All right, so it seems like he's feeling a little bit better and not so angry about the fight he was just having. Who? Hey, Big Top. You might not know this, but I've been on the hunt for a sweet maze ball. Oh, I haven't even looked at it yet, but hey. That's okay. All right. Uh, 370 bells. Well, you know what? That's okay. I, I wasn't gonna like keep the maze wall anyway, and now you can have it. I'm sure I can always go ahead and buy it. So I could always get it from my catalog if I need to. There you go, Big Top. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hopefully you're feeling better after your fight too. Hello, Aurora. So how are you? Doing anything special? Don't you think laundry dried outside smells like the sun? Aurora, you are so precious. <laughs> I wish you would wear something other than that corset though, but that corset is just like the most popular thing in town. All right, you guys. So 
We have looked for most of the mushrooms. I'm still concerned because we have one mushroom and one fossil missing. And I want to make sure we find them. And sometimes they're hiding in really particular places. And I haven't seen Blanche now that I think about it either. So she might be up at Main Street doing a little bit of shopping. Hey, Caesar. Don't mind me, just checking for mushrooms. Leave no tree unturned, I always say. All right, let's see. In fact, let's no tree unshaken either. <gasps> Seriously? The first tree that we shook today and we got lucky enough to get the a theremin. Oh, well, we've had that before. <laughs> But the very first tree we shook and we got lucky enough to find what we were looking for right away All right, and I'm gonna gather up these peaches I think they've probably gone bad and I need to get rid of them and we'll check back here for any mushrooms So I'm a little worried you guys. I'm not finding The the last mushroom the fourth real mushroom. So I think that that does like add a little bit of uh, justification to the idea that if you don't come at eight, then the villagers, there we go, then the villagers may snag things. So what we might do is we might wake up early. We might go ahead and search for mushrooms. And then after we gather all of them, we'll go back to bed <laughs> and we'll wake up later and we'll go ahead. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Dang it. And we'll go to bed unless it's hiding back here somewhere. Dun, 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 dun. Nope. What about over here? <gasps> there it is! Now we don't have to go back to bed! I'm so happy! Oh no! My pockets are full! I have to drop it! Gosh darn! Alright, but we've picked up a whole bunch of the things that were laying around town. Oh, the peaches are normal! They were just laying on the ground for that long and they're fine. Okay, we picked up a whole bunch of the things that were laying around town. We have made a letter that we're going to give to Mary. So I feel like we're doing- ah, dang it! I feel like we're doing our mayor duties very well. We found a few fossils, so we'll go take these over to Blathers. And we might take a peek into the TNT afterward, and we'll see what's uh, we'll see what's in there. We might stop in to see Reese really quickly, though, so I can sell some of the extra stuff. Oh, and then we need to catch a butterfly. Is this another fossil? Interesting. Okay, I think I have room for it. <gasps> so there are four fossils. Thank you guys so much. I will definitely have to be doing some more exploring and searching for fossils then. All right, there we go, you guys. Mushroom hunting day two, done. So excited. And we have accomplished a couple of the big goals I really wanted to do in cleaning up all of the stuff left over from the Halloween festivities that I just left all over town and in writing a letter to Mary so that we can really welcome her to town. All right, no, not my mushrooms. You can't have my mushrooms. I'm sorry, Reese. You can have the theremin. Um, and and that's literally actually it. The theremin and the peaches, but not the mushrooms. I mean, eventually I should just let her have some of the mushrooms because we're going to have so many of them. But still, I'm going to hold on to them. They're precious to me. And then we're going to probably have just like drawers full of mushrooms. Can they stack? I would be so thrilled to pieces if they can stack. And we'll have drawers full of mushrooms. Dun, dun, dun. Let's see. Ah, dang it, they can't stack. So I think what we'll do is we'll come down and we'll actually decorate the outside of the botanical garden with these mushrooms. And hopefully they'll stay here and my villagers won't come and try to collect them and eat them. But we'll just have to see what happens. So this is our very first, our very first experimental offering of these kinds of mushrooms. All right, let's go ahead and put this on the ground. There we go. And then let's go turn this butterfly. There's another monarch butterfly. They must like the bushes. Let's go ahead and turn in this butterfly to to Kit Kat really quickly, not Genji. I think I said Genji, but I meant Kit Kat. And make him happy. Oh, there he is. Everybody's hanging out on the bridge today. Oh, and it looks like Kit Kat and uh, Big Top have made up, which makes me happy. All right, so go ahead and study your monarch butterfly, my friend, and let's see what he gives us. Yay! All right, and what's he gonna give us? What is it? I can't see. A painter's tea. <laughs> oh, all right, thank you, Kit Kat. I actually think the painter's tea might be kind of cool, so let's go ahead and wear it really quickly. No, never mind. It's not kind of cool. Sorry, Kit Kat. <laughs> I want my mushroom my mushroom outfit on again. Oh my gosh. Okay, these two are clearly they're they're totally fine. All right. 
So onwards, you guys. All right, so we did some of our mirror duties today. Very happy about that. It really helps just to have like a couple goals because there's so many things to do. And we're going to go ahead and turn in our fossils to Blathers. We're going to check in on the TNT. And then I think we might end the day with Brewster as well. Oh, and with buying a really pretty flower. Something from Leaf Shop, of course. And we'll put in whatever extra money we have. Blanche, there you are. Hello, Tommy. Blanche, I'm so glad to see you. What a coincidence meeting you here, quite so. Was there something you wanted, quite so? Quite so, this place always gives me fun new ideas for my home. At the same time, it reminds me of all the repairs and maintenance I've fallen behind on. Oh, Blanche. All right, so let's see what we have over here. Um, This is the weirdest looking clock ever. I'm good, thank you. There's also a compass. There's also kind of like a spotty clock that sort of reminds me of mushrooms. Um, There's a mic, which might be interesting. Hmm. And we're being trailed by a tiny little itty bitty adorable record. A polka dot clock, a fine item. Yes, the price is 2,400 bells. Are you interested in this item? Um, kind of. Purely for the sake that it would maybe look good in the mushroom room, but not that much. All right, what about the, the compass, though? This is kind of a huge compass. <laughs> a compass, a fine item, yes? Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take the compass because that makes sense to put into, like, maybe a little ranger room that we could build inside of the, uh, the museum or the botanical garden. Playroom rug. No, I'm okay. And then what else does he have? Oh, we don't have to dodge spooky rugs anymore. Spooky season is over. Now is the time of the mushroom. Oh, harvest rug. L oh, let me see. Uh, show me, show me. Hmm. It's pretty cute. I, I, I'm going to think about it. Now that we know it's here, I'm going to think about it. I need to put my money towards the well more than anything. Or upgrading the botanical garden again. A regal wall. Show me. No, I really don't like that kind of, of wallpaper whatsoever. <laughs> Alright, thank you, little one. Alright, and then, oh, this is the maze wall that we just sold. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Okay, it's literally a maze wall. That's, I, for some reason, I was thinking something like the labyrinth in Twilight Forest and Minecraft. So, that's kind of funny, because it's totally not what I was thinking it would be. And that's the weirdest lamp I've ever seen. Alright, anything from Leaf today? A cactus! Hey, Leaf! Oh, and you have an axe again! I need this, my friend! A happy axe. Hmm. I don't know about happy axes. Oh, and then I- <laughs> I remember the last thing I needed to do today, you guys! I need new shoes! Because I'm still wearing the patchy shoes that, uh... Okay, Holly start. Uh, I'm okay. I don't really like the look of Holly, actually. Maybe for Christmas? But not right now. A white azalea start. Okay, I'll go ahead and buy it. Thank you. All right, and then I'll go ahead and get this little cactus. A tall mini cactus, 800 bells. Are you gonna buy it? Yes, I will, I love cactuses. I love all plants. Thank you, Leaf. Thank you so much. I know I need to buy more things. In fact, I need, I should go back in and get that sapling in just a second. Ah, oh, there's so much shopping to do. Okay, we'll go back in and get the sapling. Cause I actually do, the more saplings and flowers that you buy from Leaf, the faster he can upgrade his shop. So hello, Leaf. Very nice to see you again. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and get this. Okay, all right, yes, thank you. All right, I will take it. Too bad you can't just do like a mass like, I'll take everything and just like buy out the shop because I would do that at like shop every time. But yeah, we'll go over to Kicks really quickly because I totally forgot that my shoes are just like these patchy shoes that we got when we were trick-or-treated, uh, when we were tricked, when we were trick-or-treating. So we'll get some new shoes really quickly. Hello, chum. Hello, my friend. I need something good. Um, let's see. For mushroom season, what about these little shoes? They can match with my little my little mushroom. Yep, yep, yep. I uh, let me try them on and see how they look. Do they match with my little mushroom? They kind of match with my little mushroom. I'll buy them. I'll go ahead and buy them. I want to wear them out. No, what? <laughs> He's like, you don't have any space left. Fine. Okay, I'll be back for new shoes later. That's what I get for gathering up too many plants. There's never such thing as too many plants, but still. All right, you guys. I'm pretty happy. We'll stop in and mail our letter for Mary. And then we'll go in and we'll look at Nook Homes and make sure there's nothing that would be good for the museum or the botanical garden. And then I think we're good. I'm just going to turn in what money I have left in my pockets. Um, there we go. I would like to send mail to a person in Mastri, Pelly. 
And then I'll just turn in the mail that's in my pockets. Oh, we need to look at the mush table. Of course, what am I thinking? We must look at it. But now that we have cleaned up all of the stuff that I had just laying around town from the Halloween party, then I think what we'll go ahead and do is work on maybe some of the yard cell work so I have some space in my house. And also maybe work on gathering up some money so that I can try to put a little bit towards uh, upgrading my home too. Hello Nook, how are you today? Just doing a quick pass by. Nope, I don't think you have anything that I want for the uh, the different museums. Thank you very much. Maybe the, the middle door, but we'll think about that for the future. All right, and speaking of museums, and we still haven't gone to Club LOL, maybe I should do like a Friday night Club LOL visit. We'll just spend the time like hanging out with villagers and going to Club LOL because you can learn emotions if you go to Club LOL. And yes, I said emotions. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you can actually learn. All right, so we'll go ahead turn this into blathers. We'll swing by. Let's assess the fossils Do 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 Four little fossils to assess blathers. Thank you very much And then we will swing by The well we will give the well all of the money. I currently have There you go And then I think he said all of the fossils are already I'm gonna double check yeah, oh my gosh, all the fossils are already in the collection. Okay. All right, what do we have now? Now we have Stego Torso, uh, Inkla Torso, a dinosaur egg again. Yes, that's like the third dinosaur egg we have, or maybe the fourth one, because we've already donated one. We, that is so cool. We definitely need to drop that in front of the museum house, and we'll go ahead and start like keeping some of those pieces in the museum house because the dinosaur eggs are just really fun and it would be really funny to see how many we can gather like maybe moss tree village will become known for all of the fossilized dinosaur eggs we also have yay okay so let's do this you guys dun, 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 dun. don't run on my grass don't run on my grass or else i'll destroy my grass and that will make me so sad genji hey hope you're enjoying your new fossil again with the chatting are you stuck me bro what do you mean you're not my bro bro otaku so what's up lady bro <laughs> Ooh, I know it's prime uh, training, but I need a little breather. This is when I need to bite into some sweet energizing fruit. Oh my gosh. No, no, no. I didn't mean to say no. I accidentally told him go get it himself. Oh, I'm a heartless person. Oh gosh. All right. We're going to go ahead and drop the dino egg right here. And then I actually kind of want to see if... Can we bury... I don't think you can bury the... Can you bury? Okay, I'm gonna do an experiment. It's probably gonna waste it. No, that's not where I wanted it to go. That's not where I wanted to go either. Eh, there we go. I want to do an experiment and see, and this is probably just gonna waste this, but can I please grow a bush next to a house? It's so difficult to figure out where I'm gonna put the bushes. All right, there's that. And then I don't think I have anything. I guess I should put the mush table in front of there, but I want to look at it first. All right. And then I think that's it. I think that's it. Other than I'm just gonna take the money to the well myself. It's not enough to finish the well, unfortunately. And oh, I guess, yeah, there, was, there wasn't a camper there. We would have seen a camper while we were looking for the mushrooms. All right, so what are our next steps? Trying to make it so that we actually have some room in my room. And let's put down the mushroom bed, tall mini cactus, exotic table, mush table, there it is, mush table. Oh, <gasps> you guys, it's perfect. I am so in love with this. This is so fantastic. All right, so next time we'll probably start with our yard cell, trying to clear out some of the uh, clutter that I definitely am overflowing with here in my room and figuring out how to put some things over at the museum area, like some of those dinosaur eggs, the amber pieces, and figuring out what things we need to start leaving at the botanical garden. And I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.